To begin processing payments through your member hub store or fundraiser, you'll need to start a Stripe account. Click online store and then store settings and you'll see a button to get your Stripe account set up. The first step is going to be a verification process. You'll be able to enter your cell phone number as well as your email. You will need to be able to receive a text message at this phone number, so make sure it's your phone number. And then your email address will need to be a unique email address that has not been used for any Stripe accounts previously because this is creating a unique instance for your member hub store. Once you receive that text, you can enter the code and move on. The first step is going to be to put in information about your business or organization. So you'll put in the address, the name, you'll want to make sure that the legal name matches what you use on your taxes, as well as that EIN. That's the most important step for that verification there. You'll finish completing that information and click continue. The next step is to enter information about your business representative. So you'll need to enter the legal name of a person who is a signer on your organization's bank account. You'll put in some personal information, including birth date and social security number. That social security number is a federal requirement that Stripe must ask for that to verify that you are authorized to act on behalf of your organization. It is only used for that verification step. There are no credit checks or anything beyond that. Then your last step is going to be to enter your banking information. You'll want to grab a check so you can make sure you get your routing number and your account number to enter right here. Uh, once you've finished that, you'll click save and you'll be ready to start processing payments. If you need to go back and look at that Stripe dashboard for anything else, you can view it again in store settings. You'll have a view express dashboard button.